Friends, welcome back to the Novena to St. Luke. Over the last few days, we've had the joy, the pure joy of meeting and greeting our fellow brothers and sisters of St. Luke's as we've come to know and understand their role in the life of St. Luke's. And today we have the awesome privilege of introducing to you our friend and our brother, Benson. Hi, Benson. Hi, Luke. Um, it's, it's great to be here and it's, it's a privilege and I'm really honoured to be leading the parish today in this Navina to St. Luke's. Absolutely. It's an absolute joy to have you, my friend. Now, my friend, over the last few days, we've had the chance before praying the Novena to St. Luke of getting to know more of our dear friends at St. Luke's. And perhaps by way of introduction, can you explain yourself and your family and your background at yep. St. Luke's, my friend? Yep. So uh, I'm, I'm Benson Miranda, and uh, I've been here as part of the St. Luke's community for the for over a year and a half now. I've, I've come here in December 2019 along with my wife and I have one, one daughter, her name is Adele. Um, and I'm part of the parish, parish pastoral council as well. And I feel extremely blessed that God has given an, me an opportunity to serve the parish uh, in the council. And uh, I'm looking after the spiritual portfolio. Where um, So we've been, and during this lockdown, we've been having uh, these online prayer meetings that I would encourage uh, each and every one of you to to be a part of it because it's such an enriching experience when we all come together as a family to pray together for not only for the intentions of our parish but also for the pandemic that is happening worldwide um, and along with that in part of the men's alive group as well which is a wonderful forum where all the men of our parish come together and and share our lives together and share our troubles with one another and help each other out in whichever way we can yeah Absolutely, my friend. Considering that you've been part of the St. Luke's community for a relatively short period of time, people might be tempted to think that there'll be very little of any circumstances to fully embed yourself into the community of mm. St. Luke's. What's one memory do you think you've taken away uh, by being part of St. Luke's? Ah, well, I think there are a couple. I, I, I'll try and keep this short. Um, I think one of the first things that we wanted to uh, when we came here to St. Luke's is to have a, a vibrant church community because uh, we just migrated to Australia and, uh, uh, of course, migrating to a new country. Um, and so soon we've been missing our family so much. So we were looking for a place where we could feel like home. So I remember being so close to the church, just two minutes away from where the St. Luke's church is. We would, uh, we would be blessed to be able to go for Mass um, every weekend and of course a few days when we get time of work we go for mastering the weekdays as well and during the time we met uh, so many beautiful people like like yourself Luke and like Luis and Bruce and so many other wonderful people and I think going for mass each and every day helped us to understand and realize that what a beautiful community this is and I think one of the uh, one of my first and favorite memories would be um, the farewell that we had for Father John, who was our previous parish priest, and um, we went for the farewell, and it was such a wonderful experience to see, to mix, and to socialize with so many beautiful people, and realize how wonderful this community is. And even our daughter uh, had such a wonderful time playing with all the children that were there, and she also was playing with the older people, and they loved to see her energy so much, which was so enriching and so beautiful to see. Um, and another memory would be the the barbecues that we had recently out, outside the church, and that was a great way to socialize with members of our parish. Mm -hmm. And also recently we had the search program, so which which enriched our spiritual experience as well. So that was also a wonderful memory for me. So yeah, a lot of good memories in in St. Luke's over a short period of time, and and, and I'm sure. Uh, after experiencing all this, I'm sure there are many more to come in the event. Oh, that's phenomenal. Thanks so much for sharing, my friend. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a testimony of anything, not only to the community of St. Luke's, but also to yourself and to your beautiful, and to your beautiful family, to see yeah. the many beautiful chances to be involved and to help in the life of the parish. Thank you yeah. so much, my friend. Now, as we now come to pray the St. Luke Novena, it will be an absolute joy for you to lead us, please, my friend. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us St. Luke as an example of holiness. Help us to imitate the love of you he showed in writing his gospel 
and showing the importance of care for the poor. St. Luke, we know few details about your life, but your writings show us that you were very conscious of the need to care for the poor out of our love for God. Please bring my petitions before God, whom you loved so dearly. Your gospel tells of the importance of charity towards the poor in the story of the rich man and Lazarus. Your gospel also tells us how Mary praised God for filling the hungry with good things. Pray for me that I may always be conscious of the needs of the poor around me. Pray that I may always seek to care for my poor brothers and sisters in Christ out of love for God. Please also pray for our St. Luke's community and for their special intentions. St. Luke. Pray for us. The glorious mysteries, the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, it's been an absolute joy to have you pray with us to Novena to St. Luke. And before we wrap up, Benson, I would love to share some news with us. Benson. Yeah, so we can't... Uh... As we all know that the churches are going to open soon and uh, we're looking forward to going to church. But before that, I'm most excited about the parish feast celebration that is coming up on the 23rd with the live stream mass. 
uh, which is happening on the 23rd and following which there's going to be a praise and worship, worship session. And that's, a, that's been amazing. That's an amazing uh, praise and worship night because uh, the last one was such a big hit and a lot of people loved it. So I'm really looking forward to it and this one as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Not at all. Friends, it's been a delight to have you join us today. Please join us tomorrow as we continue the novena praying to St. Luke. Friends, thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Benson. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.